Ancient Egypt has long been a source of wonder and fascination for people around the world with its mysterious pyramids, powerful pharaohs, and intriguing cultural history. Central to this ancient civilization's legacy is its military, which was both formidable and highly organized. In this documentary, we'll delve into the depths of the ancient Egyptian army, examining its formation, strategies, tactics, and weaponry throughout its storied existence. Early Formation of the Egyptian Army Before the pyramids ever graced the landscape of Egypt, the military evolved from disorganized groups of tribal warriors into a sophisticated and disciplined fighting force. As Egypt transitioned from separate tribes into a centralized nation, the need for a cohesive military to defend the realm and extend its power became increasingly apparent. Narmer, the first pharaoh of the Old Kingdom, laid the groundwork for the Egyptian army. This early military force primarily consisted of infantry units armed with simple weapons and shields. These conscripts, drawn from the general population, played a crucial role in protecting Egypt's borders and establishing control over neighboring territories. The first intermediate period, characterized by political instability and decentralization, brought about significant changes in the Egyptian army's structure. Regional rulers began to raise their own private armies, which included professional soldiers, and the adoption of new military technologies and tactics. These developments set the stage for the future evolution of the Egyptian army. The Middle Kingdom and the New Kingdom With the reunification of Egypt under the Middle Kingdom, the need for a cohesive military force became even more critical. The Egyptian army underwent reorganization and revitalization, allowing it to expand its influence throughout the region and establish an empire stretching from modern-day Sudan to the Levant. The Middle Kingdom introduced numerous innovations and improvements in the Egyptian army's capabilities. The adoption of new weapons, such as composite bows and protective armor made from leather and bronze, became increasingly widespread. The introduction of horse-drawn chariots revolutionized warfare, allowing the Egyptian military to move with greater speed and agility on the battlefield. Under the New Kingdom, the Egyptian army reached the pinnacle of its power and influence. Armed with advanced weaponry and led by skilled commanders, the pharaohs of the New Kingdom embarked on a series of ambitious military campaigns that expanded Egypt's territory and solidified its dominance over neighboring regions. Composition and Organization of the Egyptian Army The New Kingdom's Egyptian army was a diverse and multifaceted force, consisting of various components working together to achieve its objectives. The infantry formed the backbone of the army, with specialized units of archers, slingers, spearmen, and close combat troops armed with swords, axes, and clubs. These soldiers typically carried shields and sometimes wore protective armor. Chariots played a critical role in the Egyptian army, offering speed, mobility, and firepower on the battlefield. Each chariot was typically manned by a driver and an archer, and they were used to flank and disrupt enemy forces during combat. The Egyptian navy was essential in maintaining control over the Nile and the Mediterranean Sea, supporting military campaigns, safeguarding trade routes, and defending coastal settlements. The navy was comprised of various vessels, including warships and transport ships, making it a crucial element of the Egyptian military's operations. The ability to sustain its forces over long distances and through harsh terrain was a key factor in the Egyptian army's success. Support personnel were responsible for providing food, water, and other necessities to the soldiers on campaign, as well as constructing fortifications and maintaining supply lines. Military Tactics and Strategies The ancient Egyptian army employed a variety of tactics and strategies in battle depending on the specific situation and the enemy they faced. However, there were certain principles and approaches that underpinned their approach to warfare, making them a formidable force on the battlefield. 
One key aspect of Egyptian warfare was the use of combined arms and coordination. The Egyptian military was adept at combining the strengths of its infantry, chariots, and navy to maximize combat effectiveness. This approach required precise coordination and communication, enabling the various elements of the army to support each other and exploit the weaknesses of the enemy. When faced with fortified enemy settlements, the Egyptian army was well versed in the art of siege warfare. Employing battering rams, siege towers, and other specialized equipment, they would systematically weaken an enemy's defenses before launching a final assault to capture the city or fortress. Egyptian commanders were also skilled in using the terrain to their advantage. They often chose battlefields that allowed them to maximize the effectiveness of their forces, such as taking the high ground, using natural barriers like rivers and cliffs, or ambushing the enemy in narrow passes or dense vegetation. Training and Discipline To ensure their army's effectiveness, the ancient Egyptians placed great importance on training and discipline. Soldiers underwent rigorous training in weapons handling, hand-to-hand -hand combat, archery, and tactics. This training was meant to instill a sense of discipline, unity, and loyalty among the troops, which would prove essential in the heat of battle. Drills and exercises were carried out regularly to maintain physical fitness and battlefield readiness. The performance of soldiers was closely monitored by their officers, and those who excelled in training could earn promotions or other rewards, providing an incentive for personal improvement. The Role of the Pharaoh in Warfare The Pharaoh played a critical role in the military affairs of ancient Egypt. As both the political and religious leader of the nation, the Pharaoh was responsible for the overall strategy and direction of the Egyptian army. In some cases, pharaohs like Thutmose III and Ramses II personally led their forces in battle, commanding respect and allegiance from their troops. Egyptian pharaohs used the military to reinforce their authority and project power through their empire. Successful military campaigns served to bolster a pharaoh's reputation and secure their position as a strong and capable leader. The Decline of the Egyptian Army Despite its impressive history and many achievements, the Egyptian army's dominance eventually waned. The late period saw Egypt's military power decline as the nation fell under the influence and control of foreign powers, such as the Assyrians, Persians, and eventually, the Greeks and Romans. One of the contributing factors to the decline of the Egyptian army was the internal strife and political instability that plagued the country during the late period. Civil wars and power struggles weakened the central authority, leading to a fragmented and disorganized military force that was ill-equipped to deal with external threats. Another factor that contributed to the decline of the Egyptian army was its inability to keep pace with the technological and tactical innovations of its rivals. While Egypt's enemies adopted new weapons, armor, and battle strategies, the Egyptian military remained largely static in its approach, placing it at a significant disadvantage on the battlefield. Finally, the ancient Egyptian army played a pivotal role in shaping the history of Egypt and the wider region. Its impressive organization, innovative tactics, and fearsome reputation made it one of the most powerful military forces of the ancient world. The story of the Egyptian army's rise to prominence, its eventual decline, and its enduring legacy serves as a remarkable window into the complexities of ancient warfare and the delicate balance of power in the ancient world. As we reflect on the rich and multifaceted history of the Egyptian army, we gain a deeper appreciation for the dedication, skill, and ingenuity of the soldiers who fought to defend and expand their homeland. And their